Okay, let's go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, good evening. Good evening, everyone. So, this is your boy again, Richie Baral. Uh, for this video, I will be uh, going to discuss about the, uh, the path, the path that you want to, to be when you're, I mean, uh, after you graduate. Uh, I would like to I would like to recommend uh, based on the a lot of the courses uh, not not to brag but uh, based on my observations as you can see if I if we go to jobstraight.com.sg the best I mean if you check with this network engineering engineering uh, courses the salary the monthly salary is around 5k to 6.5k salary so it makes us usually i mean the 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 singaporean dollar now is around 41 dollar so let's times it to let's say for example 5000 5000 okay can you get this one on the philippines no usually 20k and i mean most of the it personnel there is i mean receive a lot most of most of them are uh yeah, receive uh, 30,000 but uh seniors maybe 50 to 100 or 100 plus but usually mo i mean majority of the uh it companies smbs uh, small mid size company usually give around 18k to 20k pesos so I would like to recommend you to get this one I mean to focus on the network engineering part and I will show you how easy it is I mean if you really focus on on, on the network engineering security network security engineering then I mean if you wanna get to be an IT sooner then check this out okay okay so uh, I created this video also as part of I mean, um, what well, one of the uh, followers of my Tixi Buono page asked me to do some uh, to do a quick uh, discussion or quick tutorial on the so-called virtual local area network, ECLs, and etc. Other part of the network baseline. So by that, I will start on introducing you the Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is a free free tools simulation tools that you can use for your uh for your journey on learning uh, network engineering uh path okay so yeah first uh you need to go to net agad net agad okay if you don't have any account clearly I, I have account just log in, I mean just sign up on that one and then once you go to this page and then just go to the resources and then find the download package tracer and click that for that one and then go down or you can also read this one just for your information okay and we go this one this way yeah okay so here this is a requirement free requisite uh, uh, specifications to install this packet tracer to your uh, laptop okay so yeah 4 gig of uh, memory ram cpu yeah. so if your computer laptop is capable of this or compatible with this specification then you're good you're good to go okay so there are three uh, softwares here for windows ubuntu and mac os it's up to you which operating system you currently have okay okay so we're ready for ado let's download this windows version okay i click download this one and on my side i already downloaded the packet tracer and i already installed it on my laptop okay it's really easy to install just click next 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 there's no special character you need to input on this packet tracer as long as uh, your computer is capable of running packet tracer, there is no uh, complication on that one. So just click next, 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 next. Okay. So on mine, I will just discard on this one. Huh? 
Okay, so I installed already the Cisco Pocket Tracer. Once you click the Pocket Tracer, oh, I'll exit this one first to show you the. Okay, when you click this one, when you click the Pocket Tracer, okay, it's it goes directly because I already logged in, but there is a short uh, tab that you need to log in using your uh, credentials and link account okay just use that one and then you can start of it okay so uh introducing the cisco pocket tracer there are a lot of devices network devices in the lower uh left left uh left side there are the network device there are network devices which includes the routers switches which the router switches the hub which is i think they don't exist anymore wireless devices firewalls and also the cloud yeah the dsl <laughs> okay so uh at the top you can also click the end devices which are the computer server laptop ip phone tv tablet BIP phone, printer, and etc. So there are a lot of choices or devices that you want to use. But for this uh, video, uh, it will be a short. Okay, maybe we can, we will maximize on that. I mean, we will do the next uh, videos on the next uh, uh, next days or something like that if we have time. Okay, for now, I will show you. I will show you on uh, how to create a uh, virtual local area network. Uh, basically, this is a segmentation process. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, we need a switch. We need a switch. There are available switch here. This one is a. Uh, it's a stable switch model right now, but currently uh there are new switches available in the market which is 9000 series catalyst 9000 um and the available now which is 2960 and 3650 3560 also so we will just use the common the common switch the 292960 we can also use the common layer 3 switch this is the layer 3 this is the layer 2 switch yeah okay so to design the environment okay let's put aside and then to switch and then you see this uh, connection line or lightning logo just click that one and then use what particular cable you want to use usually we use the straight through cable straight through this black one okay okay so connect it from fast ethernet one to gigabit ethernet one also is fast ethernet one connect to the leader switch okay so as you can see the line arrow has a red line meaning it doesn't it does not power up so we need to click the layer 3 switch and then get the power supply drag this power supply at the top to the back of the switch and then there should be a switch no switcher okay just put uh, the two power supply and then close and then go to the layer to switch so i think this it doesn't have a required power but it's already had a power supply so it's okay we we'll just wait for this one to to turn it to green to green huh okay so currently on the layer 3 switch okay maybe i need to try something here okay 
So, organization, let's say for example, this organization is called Tex Cebuano. Tex Cebuano um, Inc. Okay. And we are required to have, I mean, usually in the Tex Cebuano company, we have a different department. We have the accounting, we have the admin department, we also have production department. And the fourth one is the information department or let's say ISD. Okay, so, okay, let's arrange this one. Okay. 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 Okay, let's put this aside. Let's create another cloud. <clears throat> this one is just a sample. Uh. We don't need to configure this one right now because this is not important, important to the design. I mean, for this particular activity. Just put this one as part of the design. Just put connection, put number uh, 24, port number 24 from layer 3 going to ESA5505, which is the firewall. Okay, modem, activity. Okay, port number 1 on the modem. Uh, let's say for example this modem is um SPLDT or Glove or Converge ICT or STT so it's <laughs> oh what is the available ISP in your environment? So it's up to you, it's up to your company. So Usually, we have multiple ISP in our company, so we might as well put another ISP here. Uh, okay, I'll just put another ISP. Okay, and then connect my firewall to it. To this modem also. So, it could be Pilati Global Network Coverage ICT. So this corner is going to the internet and this corner is responsible for the segmentation process which need to we need to separate each uh, department just to make it easier for you for now I'll be providing each switch for each department so we have a four department so we will provide four switches okay so let's connect the other two switches the other two switches okay then put a laptop on it laptop or pc it's up to you i will on my case i will just put laptop with a wired connection laptop laptop representative for each department okay so we don't need to put any uh, many laptop on it just put one it's enough okay <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. So each and every laptop has different one, huh? Okay. Each and each each laptop is a is a representative for each uh So each laptop is a representative for each department. 
So, okay. Let's say this one. Okay, so I'll just write and I addressing for this one. So for this one, I will assign seven seven two one six ten dot uh, zero slash twenty four. The admin I will assign one nine two dot one six eight one six eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four. The production is one ninety two one six eight dot twenty dot zero slash twenty four and the ISD is ten 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 dot zero slash twenty four okay so we already have the addressing oh We already have the addressing for these devices. Uh. Okay, so we already have the addressing for these devices. Now, we will start the configuration process on our layer 3 switches. Okay, so... Okay, so this one is connected to... One, two... I think this should be labeled as well. You see, accounting, accounting, admin, production, ISD, ISD. Okay, this is the admin. This is good. What happened? Hmm. Okay. This is the production laptop and this is the ISD. Oh, I think it should be over here. This switch. Because this switch represent each department. So if this laptop is connected to production, production switch, then should be on under this department okay just to be easier to understand for now okay so as you can see when i hover over my mouse going to this green button under accounting switch accounting layer to switch it will show me the g the port number g i g zero one this one the admin is under G02. The production is under G03. And, and G04 for the ISD. Okay. So let's connect. Okay. Okay. I'll just use the basic, I mean, the usual, the usual way how do we configure the switch okay uh, i'll just put an additional laptop here and connect to my core switch using the console cable console console cable going to laptop usb Oh no, why? Ayo. Okay. So I'm connected the console cable. Oh, uh, which uh if you're uh if you are curious about the console cable picture, this is the console cable. Let's go console cable. This is the picture of the console cable. Now this one huh? USB console cable. Just to configure is the devices. This is the 
this is a must if you want to learn a network a network on uh network the network how to configure the switches then you must have a console keyboard okay <laughs> okay now i'm connected to uh the switch i need to check on my laptop the desktop and i'll need to go to terminal and then click ok and then yeah so it's now okay so would you like to enter so this is the interface of this layer 2 switch uh, layer 3 switches okay means you are now configuring you are now managing the switches okay so i'll just put no for now so switch okay so if uh, in order for you to con to configure to execute a command you need to go to configure terminal enter and then first we need to change the host name name of the switch host name let's say uh, collapse I just put core switch core switch okay and then create the VLAN we have accounting admin production and ISD so just put VLAN and what is the ID it's up to you we uh, Cisco switches and other switches usually uh, had a, a lot of available slot on VLAN so it's it can be up to 4,000 VLANs so for now I'll create uh, it's VLAN 10 for admin VLAN 20 for I mean VLAN 10 for accounting VLAN 20 for admin VLAN 20 for admin VLAN 30 for production VLAN 40 for the IT or ISD exit and interface now you need to call the each VLAN to edit the settings inside of it okay interface VLAN 10 so it's now up to enable the VLAN just call interface VLAN 10 okay just put enter and then description so basically the name of the department so I just put accounting department exit going to in VLAN 20 description administration department exit again go to VLAN 30 and description going to production department and then exit again go to interface VLAN 40 and then enter description and then oh let's say this is the secret huh? if I put the description if I going to write the, the description I just put DES or something like that and then click a tab button and so if there is no I mean there's a lot of options under DE just put S and then type type the tab again it will redirectly redirected to the description word okay to shortcut I mean it's just a shortcut term for me but it's up to you if you complete if you write it completely description going back description ISD department and then go okay so now we already configured a VLAN we already put a name on each VLAN now we need to assign each of the IP addresses each of the IP addresses for each VLAN now going back to interface VLAN 10 10 IP address um, 172.16.10 so now it's zero right but you need to put something like a uh, unique uh, unique number from 1 to 254 okay so 
by I mean use the usual that we use is two five four or one in bit uh it's it's in the first number or or the last number okay best practice one or two five four or it's up to you <laughs> the last one or the first one because slash twenty four the available host in slot 24 is two, uh, 254 okay so for me I'll go with 254 address so basically I assign an IP address to the core switch VLAN 10 okay and then put the subnet mask of slash 24 slash 24 is equivalent to 255.255.255 zero and then just put no shutdown to make it sure okay interface now we are we're done with a uh, vlan 10 now we go to vlan 20 vlan 20 ip address 192.168.20.254 that and then space 255.255.0. Now shut down just to make sure. And then now and go to interface VLAN 30. Configure the same thing. Different is IP address. IP address. Oh. Oh yo, I forgot. I forgot. I write a wrong IP address. Subnet on VLAN 20 it should be 1.0 or 1.254 okay going back except interface VLAN 20 uh, just put IP address again IP address 192.168 1.254 and then 255.255.0 and then exit go to VLAN 30 IP address 20 that two five four that two five five two five oh space two five 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 that zero then go to VLAN forty IP address um ten 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 two five four two five two five five two five five that zero so we are already done configuring each VLAN okay to save this because if you didn't save this one if you restart the switch then all the configuration will be disappear okay so just make sure if you configure anything any anything or the modifications in the switch write this command do write Okay, to save the configuration. Do write if you are in the global config. Ha? If, but you cannot put, I mean, you cannot write the command right inside here. Uh, invalid input. Otherwise, you go to, you go to the uh, privilege, mo uh, under, under, not privilege mode and to just put end. End and then write okay exit or end and then write just put write or copy running running config start up config this is also other way to save the configuration okay so to show show the configuration if it's done then show run running config and then you can see the older configuration inside the switch okay now we already configured the vlan and we already configured the vlan 20 30 40 now we haven't assigned the interface yet to each vlan so we will assign so configure terminal again click and then now a moment ago I show you each of these switch are connected to each of the port or dump port of the layer 3 switch 
when you hover over accounting switch is connected by a port number one of of the core, core switch right you see g0 g101 okay so let's go let's call it interface gi10 slash one and then just put this one switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN and which VLAN is this accounting switch? It's VLAN 10. So by this command, this two command shows that if you, I mean, if you want to assign this port, particular port number one to VLAN 10, you need, you need to key in this command switch port mode access and switch port access to VLAN 10. So meaning, it is now under the VLAN 10 segment segmentation. Okay. Okay. Now it's up. Huh? Okay. Exit. Now go to GI102. And then same thing. Switch board. Different VLAN. Mode. Access. Switch board mode i access vlan 20 so it's going to vlan 20 now you can also see that the uh, port led is going to orange it means it is now synchronizing okay okay So we're going now to exit and then go to GI one slash three. Port number three, of course, which is connected to the production switch, right? So let's put switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN. VLAN just put uh, click tab it. There is a because currently. There's a there's an error inside both switch because the, the switch is connected to the core switch and there is a default VLAN one running on each twenty nine sixty switch that that's why the error CDP native VLAN mismatch uh goes uh goes show I mean show up but we can uh this one we can solve this one later on okay okay so so now okay where are we just click up again we write something cool we are we are in the gi interface gi103 now it's going to be vlan 30. okay exit and interface Oh, GI one zero slash four, which is the IST switch, and then switch port oh. mode access, switch port access VLAN forty. Just continue. Don't be bothered about the lags. For now, okay. So, okay. So since the the 2960 switch model is a managed switch we can we also need to to access to configure these switches each of the switches to be added on the same same VLAN. let's say for example because the core switch is under uh, the port number one of the core switch is under VLAN 10 we need to configure the 2960 switch port this port, uh, what specific? This port is if a zero one of oh, fast Ethernet. So we need to put another laptop here to configure this one. Need a 
other console cable <laughs> console cable Alright, so 3 2 I'll get connect to so 3 2 and then con to console okay and then same thing go to the desktop tab and then go to terminal okay and this one okay so now first thing again we need to configure the host name okay to configure her name we need to go first to configuration figure take a terminal and then host name just put accounting okay and then um just create one vlan vlan 10 because this this one is a vlan 10 okay and now we need to configure the port the port number one of this switch interface let's see again hover over and then oh click this one outside yeah it's connected by a if a zero one if a zero slash one and then put switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 10 okay as you can see there is a cdp native vlan mismatch now this switch i think will not will no longer uh, have a error message of vlan mismatch okay so this one is connected already so we need also to check this port which this laptop this accounting laptop is connected to because we need to configure that one also as a vlan 10 so if a02 okay we go to and exit interface if a 0 slash 2 and then switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10 okay see it's now an amber color and we need to configure this laptop also go to desktop and ip configuration so the ip range for this accounting is we need to put statically for now next video i will show you how to do this cp server and other trunking trunking static routing right that okay so basically this is going to be 10 that 2 i'm already using the 254 so i will be using this one this number one and then 2 by 5 default gateway who's the default gateway so it should be the vlan ip address which is the 16 0 slash 254 the one that we configure on on the core switch okay then as server okay then server i will also discuss this on the next video for now i'll make it a zero okay just put aside okay and then click back again to that particular accounting laptop and then go to command prompt and then try to ping the gateway gateway means the vlan ip address inside the core switch 16.10.254 so now it's being it's pingable huh? it's pingable okay so vlan 10 is okay already remove this console keyboard connect to the admin again admin switch configure this one okay configure the admin switch okay oh, wait 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 something happened okay desktop ah, native villain as you can see there is also an error native villain this much so same thing configure the the switch if a i mean this port two port the if a zero one and also this one if a zero two
as 49 ID is it? 920. Okay. Configure terminal. Interface. If A, 0, 1. Switchboard mode access. Switchboard access VLAN 20. Oh, it's not. It's not. <laughs> okay, okay. So you should be creating VLAN 20 first and then accept again. Go to go back to FA01 and then switchboard mode access again. Switchboard access VLAN 20. Okay, exit, go to if is 02, port number 2, ha? and then switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 20. So we're good. So we go to the laptop of admin and then go to the desktop, IP, at, IP configuration, click static, and then assign. Okay, which range? This one, huh? Okay. So one and two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Then okay for the VLAN IP address, VLAN twenty IP address ah, uh, on core switch. So which basically our gateway. And now we need to transfer to production. Let's make it faster sometime. <laughs> okay. Exit first the command go to terminal. Okay, type in. Okay. Configure terminal. Write the host name. Mm. Production VLAN 30. Exit interface. If A01 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 exit interface if A02 switch port mode access port access VLAN 30 okay so let's exit this one and go to the laptop and then Go to desktop tab and then IP configuration. Then click this one. IP address 192.168.20. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's invalid. 192.168.20.1. And then to one in. Two five two five four. Okay, and then exit. And then we go now to the ISD. And then open the management laptop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got the terminal again, and then just click OK on that one. And then configure again, configure T. Config T or configure terminal is the same. And hostname, ISD. And then create VLAN 40. Exit interface, FA01. This is going to the core switch. So switch port, mode access. Switch port, mode access already. Access VLAN 40. Now, interface FA02, mode access, switch port access, VLAN 40. Now, okay, I will assign this laptop to, I will assign the laptop IP address, static, just put 10, 10, 10, that one. Zero. Gateway is 10, 10, 10, 254. Don't worry. Okay. Okay.
So, as you can see, I mean, as you've noticed, I write each laptop IP address 1. Okay? Let's say the last number is 1. So, meaning 1, if you add another laptop in the accounting switch, accounting switch, the, the next IP address is 2. And you need to cascade that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 254. Or 254 is already used in the core switch, so we cannot use that one. Or else it will be conflict on the network side. Okay? So to, to avoid that one, uh, we are uh, implementing the HCP sometimes, but uh, we having reservations on uh, courses also. So this is the next uh, video tutorial also. HCP, trunking, but for now I will show you since the core switch is a layer 3 so okay let's take aside this one for now delete this one oh sorry it was deleted okay I don't need to just click this one click this okay okay just delete that one also just remain this one okay so from the core switch side oh sorry just shut it down start again okay my bad my bad sorry uh, i delete <laughs> i accidentally delete oh it's now up i'm running okay so going back to the laptop management laptop console console to the core switch go to terminal and then click ok Okay, as you can see, there is no any native mismatch. Okay, because we already match the villain ID for each switches that are coming from this accounting, admin, production, and IST switch. Okay, so now, as you remember, we assigned each IP address number one for each department uh, representative. For accounting admin production and isd now oh if you see this one huh if you this is a uh, lesser than lesser than oh greater than no ah uh, sign this one you need to put enable in order for you to write a command or something like that so now we can test on from the from this core switch going to each of these laptop in the department if this one is pingable or reachable ping is the tool to check if it's reachable okay to ping the reachability to reach a reachability for each endpoint we need to do i mean to need to use a ping test or we call it the protocol used by ping is called icmp or trace route Okay, this one we use this time we use ping ping and then put the IP address of the accounting laptop 172.16.10.1 okay oh oh exclamation point means reachable from this laptop accounting laptop go to this one we need to ping the vlan gateway or our gateway or vlan ip address or vlan 10 16 0 2, 3, 4. it's pingable right or can we try pinging from accounting to isd should be a uh, 10 10 10 1 okay so we have a challenge on this why it's because of the segmentation process which means different VLAN has a different um, security posture that's why VLAN segmentation or VLAN VLAN is really useful on an enterprise environment even the small business environment or organizations they already use a VLAN technology on their switch to separate the department another case scenario for this one is um, 
let's say for example one of the production try to access the confidentiality confidential files under accounting department so it's it's really a vulnerability on the security part so that's why we employ vlan on it okay to separate the the traffic from the each department to avoid conflicts or any uh, information breach okay so now it's not reachable but usually we can enforce this one there is a one features that this the per department can ping to each other okay going back to the management laptop click this one right configure terminal and put ip routing okay it will enable the enter vlan meaning the communication between vlan vlan 10 to vlan 20 to vlan 30 to vlan 40 okay let's test okay ping from accounting laptop going to 10 1 Hmm. Then wait. Let's check. It should be following. Why is it so? Being a network engineer, also we don't expect there's some issue on it, so we need to do to learn on how to troubleshoot also the connectivity, because this one I expect that it will work again. It will, it will work seamlessly, so it might take some time to to troubleshoot also. Okay, so let's exit this one. Okay, and then ping 10, 10, 10, that one. Let's check if one is reachable. Okay, 10, 10, 10, one is reachable. And then why is, why I'm not able to ping this one, huh? Okay, let's check again. This one, IP address, 10, and the gateway is 254. And let's go back to the switch show run again okay two by four okay i will try from this switch or from this isd laptop i will try to ping one seven two Let's extend that one. Same thing, huh? 254. I can ping the gateway from ISD. I can ping the other VLAN. The gateway, the VLAN IP address, but cannot ping to the endpoint. Why? Mm hmm there may be something like security inside of it firewall okay let's oh firewall is off mm -hmm. analyze more so this one is if um, um, this one is already configured. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try again. Other stuff. Eight one dot one.
Yeah. Okay. So it's pingable, ha? From ISD to admin department, I can ping the one that one, meaning this switch. Okay. So I'll try this admin ping 172.6.10.1. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll try the two one six eight dot two no no no. Ah yeah. Twenty dot one. I'll try the twenty dot one. Just the production. So these two admin and production is being a ball. So I'll try from admin going to is ISD ten 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 that one. So it's pingable. These three can ping <laughs> to each other, except for the accounting laptop. So you should be checking on this one. Checking on this one. There might be some problem on it. Okay. Okay, let's check again. Port. Okay, now let's investigate on port number one of of the switch. Show run interface. GI zero plus one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Show run. GI zero. Oh. Sure. Okay, so interface zero one is configured by VLAN ten. Hmm, VLAN ten, and VLAN ten is configured by one seven two one six two five four slash twenty four. Okay, and then let's click directly to the accounting switch and go to the CLI. And then just enter this one to further to go shooting. So run. And oh, the access. This one switch port access VLAN 10. Oh, the access. Huh. Okay, so it's part of the VLAN 10 already. This one is part of Vilantin already. What the, what's the problem of this switch? Why this one? Ah, yeah. This is the mistake. <laughs> because the gateway is incorrect. We need to put the... It should be 10. Because the path the path is, I mean, the conduit between these other PC is this core switch, right? If you mismatch the VLAN ID or VLAN, I mean VLAN IP address on the default gateway side, then you, you are not reachable to the other side, okay? So just make sure to put the, the correct default gateway, okay? Except this one. And then from ISD ping again the one okay so it's now reachable to each other this is how we do it some of the troubleshooting so it's a sorry for that one I never meant to have a mistake on this uh, tutorial but this is part of the tutorial so you need to learn about the troubleshooting you need to understand the method so yeah that's it for now and on my next uh, video, I'll just put it here. We are done with VLAN. Maybe soon we will do the trunking.
Next is static routing. Simple one. And and lastly, maybe ACL axis list. Okay. Okay. That's it for now. And I would like to thank you for viewing this tutorial. Have a good night. And oh, it's November 1. Ready? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> November 1. Happy Halloween, everyone. Bye-bye.